fight I could conquer the night If I can make it If I try to draw the red light I could run through the fire I could conquer the night If I can make it If I try to draw the red light going everyone i'm excited for today we've got so many people in the chat too and this is gonna be a good one i'm hoping anyway quanchkin lake alligator gar flathead blue blue cats as well i believe we've uh we've got a lot going on and hopefully get some good fish on so let's get into it oh there's only trophy blue cat here though so i guess the flathead catfish are the big the big treat along with the alligator gar so Let's go ahead and go. Of course, we'll be opening up a friend's uh, room, so anyone who is a friend with me on Fishing Planet here on PC can uh, join in, catch some, uh, some catfish as well, and uh, we'll just see what we catch, eh? Who's all in the chat, though? That's what I'm curious about. G-Man is, of course, first here. Meet 224. Uh, Kia Simon. Carson Peters. Hello. Zachary Folkerts. Triple L. Rocco Palmer. McMullen Moto. Uh, Lucas Palmer. Uh, Ian Jarrett, Charlie Drawn, Mick Owen again, Colin Schaefer, Big Heifer, Gaming, Meet224 again, how's it going? Uh, Patty Kratzer, uh, Andrew, Andrew is here, Gerald Brown, Patty again, and we're getting into some repeats of people, good deal. Brown the master though, you got into a fight. Yeah, that's uh, that's one of those difficult ones, man. Hard, uh, it's hard to uh, hard to stay out of it, you know. If they if they start something, but by golly, it's kind of one of those kind of one of those things. Stinks that they uh, suspended you though. That's that's never good. That doesn't help with anything. Okay, I've got a few different things we're gonna try today, but. Yeah, I've got a lot of different baits I want to try out. We got frogs, we got uh, uh, duck muscle meat, we've got huge cut bait, and we've got chicken liver. So I'm pretty excited. We got meat chunks as well, which we can also try. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna just gonna see. 
how it uh, how it all goes. Tavon Zades is here. Taven, 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 right? Taven. Dallas Fisher, Hunter Austin, Dirt Block. So glad to be joining the stream. Hey, glad you're here, Dirt Block. Stoked for the stream. He nail needs to get a good fish. I agree. Eighteen thousand. The keep net. Your mama's cooking is here. How's it going, Jonathan Stelly? Uh, Melanie Peterson, Michael Myers is here as well. Good deal. Shane Muling, Shane Muling. All right, cool. Well, let's uh, let's just start off. We've got bottom rods and we've got uh, top rods or match rods as well. We're just gonna we're just gonna try a bunch of stuff. I've got uh, a lot of different rods. But what pound leader? What pound leader? I think a lot of them are using 55 pounds. Yeah, 55 pound titanium leaders. I put titanium leaders on there uh, just for alligator gar. But honestly, I'm hoping that we don't have to deal with that when it comes to the catfish. We're just gonna have to see. We might not do too well for the catfish here in the morning, but we're gonna give it a go anyway. So just see how how it all comes together, I suppose. Of course, if we if we go a few minutes and we don't have any bites at all, even though it's supposed to be good fishing right now, it doesn't mean that it's good fishing for catfish. So uh, we might just have to uh, try try something else. But of course, there's a bite of some sort. Yeah, that's fish on. That's fish on. He's going over on this side now. Hi, Bo. Long time no see. Vujian Long. How's it going? There's a flathead catfish. There we go. 30 pound flathead to start us off. Not too bad. That's exactly what we're going for. So it's a good thing it's working. That was on the duck muscle meat as well. So we got one on the duck muscle meat. We're just going to determine today what the best uh, bait is for catfish, I guess. This is kind of one thing I'm trying. How you've missed me. Oh, Michael Myers making me blush. It looks like a little flathead. No, it's a channel cat. Trophy channel cat at that. Good deal. 11 pounder. Top notch. Let's throw this back out there. That was on the chicken liver. Oh, goodness gracious. Getting beeps on the other one now. Get that out there again. Oh, oh, is that a bite? Nope, nibbles. Oh, we got to run now. Good deal. He's going. He's on. Catch some monster cats. That's what we're going for, McMullen. Man, that's what we're going for. We'll see if we can uh, make something happen. This is a uh, fourth bottom rod. You might have noticed in the past it only had three bottom rods, but I decided that I was still a ways away from getting um, level 60 and some of those. Oh, this one looks a little bit bigger, closer to that 30 pounder we caught, 24 pounds. Still not getting into trophies though. Maybe we'll have to go up a hook size. We're using number six hooks right now, six odd hooks, I should say. It's been a man, Jack Wolf, I agree. We got a little guy here, a little channel cat. Goodness gracious, lots of beeping going on right now. Lots of beeping. Whoa, this is a little cat. A little fish. Little, 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 little fish. Rizzy, you've been looking forward to this stream since Monday. Aw. We've been getting catfish out of the Yahoo. I don't know if we got enough bait. Goodness gracious. Busy, so I'm level 29. I have no stuff except the beginner bass rod. What do I do? No money either, Gavin Arnold. I say the best tip in fishing planet history is to watch the beginner series. Or you can watch uh, some of the guys. Oh, we got a blue here. This is our first blue. They only go up to trophy here. Now, this is just a regular blue catfish, so that is okay, too. Top notch. Well, 29 pounds. Uh, so I'm starting to think we need to go up a hook size. Everything we've caught has been less than a trophy, um, and we're using six odds right now. So I'm thinking at the very least we need to go up to seven odds and... Uh, Maybe go up even higher from there. Oh no, I used all of my 7-aughts. Might have to take some from these. 
Sorry, sorry, match rods. We need the seven knots right now. We'll, we'll we'll give them back later, okay? Is that a seven knot already? It is a seven knot. Well, then I'll go up on these ones. We'll go up to an eight knot on these ones. See if that does anything. Hunting public on YouTube. Uh, you know, a guy at work is really crazy about the hunting public. He loves that. Do you go catfishing in real life? Yes, I do, Shane. I'm gonna watch my new mo new movie coming out. I don't, I don't think I don't think so, but maybe. Oh gosh. I'm glad that worked out. I was a little worried for a second. A little off the mark there. First live, Melanie Peterson says, good deal. Glad to see it. And hey, Bo, it's been an uh, okay, busy, blah, blah, blah. Those unique flyheads get to be up to around 50 pounds. They fly like crazy. Hey, that's what I'm looking for, man. I don't know what size of hook, though. David Probus is an expert in this sort of stuff, though. Is that a bite? It is a bite. Whoa, it went up into the red at least. I love how we were worried about being morning and not knowing if we would get a fish or not. That is a flathead. He doesn't look that big though. Well, 23 pounder. Okay. That was on the A dot. They're really hugging the side of this moss here. The bite might have slowed down. We're at 127 pounds of uh, catfish right now. So we'll just have to see. And if it does, we'll skip forward an hour or so. Give them some time to cool off. And go after them again. But we'll just play it by ear, I suppose. Get all these back out so I can get caught back up on the chat here. <clears throat> I know, I'm pretty excited to play something on my computer for once, Rizzy. I agree, that sounds awesome. Are you fishing for catfish? We are, and then we're gonna fish for some alligator gar as well. We'll just have to kind of uh, spread it out a little bit. Watch the, uh, I use minnows, I think. You use minnows, okay, so you use some of that live bait. Which is, you know, reasonable for flathead. Goodness gracious. Dogs are going crazy right now. They're playing, playing loudly. <clears throat> what level are? What level are? Just made some, this is supposed to be homemade bread. Sounds awesome. 32, did you catch, right on big heifer. Did you catch the fish monster here? Absolutely, Taven. You, uh, you should check out the Halloween series if you haven't seen all that. The bees you have Halloween series. I I, uh, and I don't want to put it words in anyone's mouth, but uh, I've heard that it's uh, it's probably the best monster fish series on YouTube. I'm just saying, you know, I, I, I don't know for sure, but uh, I, I, I've been told it's the best. That's a fish on. That's a little bit heavier. <clears throat> Not putting up much of a fight, though, is it? Went to an NFL game recently. Hey, right on. Uh, what was the game? Everyone, hi, Colin Wright. How's it going? This is just a little blue cat. Another 24-pound blue cat. Okay. <clears throat> How's the dog? The dogs are doing just fine. We took him for runs today to give him some exercise. And, uh... A little fish on here? I can't. Here's the thing. If you end up catching a little fish, it's usually a sign that your hook is too big. So, yeah. <clears throat> we might need to go back down. I like to think that that's the game's way of telling you that you're using too big of a hook for where you're fishing. Can't keep up with them, yeah. Use a seven on when you're catching the uni flatheads. Okay, right on. How long have you been playing this game for? Not streaming, but overall. Uh, I mean, we started back in January of 2020, I guess? Um, so I've been playing it every 
Every so often, I suppose. Oh, that's not the right one, is it? Ooh, got some slack in the line, but doesn't seem to be too big, does it? Phase way. Hey, how's it going? Went fishing in your state. Well, red on blue gill. How is that? You got a kayak and got fined 4,000. You are in debt. All right. That's not good. Using your mom's phone sounds good, Melanie. Yeah, I, uh, I, you're not alone. Other people deal with that as well. I'm, uh, I'm sorry if you can't change the name on your, your YouTube account. I try my best to remember people's names that aren't represented in the chat, but uh, it's a little difficult. Best tip for the Everglades. Throw some lures out there and catch some fish, man. That's the best tip that you can get. No. The Everglades is one of those places where you can really take advantage of topwater lures, so that's what I would say. Use topwater lures for the bass there. Come on, Blue. You ain't that big. God, he's just playing around with us. 46-pound trophy. Blue, though, that's not bad. That's about as big as they get here. So that's not too bad. Here we go. This guy on. Little bit of stress, isn't it? This uh, reel is actually... I think this is the one that's not strong enough for what we're doing. This looks like it could be a flathead here, yep. Is the PC version different than other versions? It shouldn't be. Hey, look at that. Trophy flathead up to 45 pounds now. Getting bigger. Slowly getting bigger, eh? That's not too shabby. Top notch. Put him back in the in the keep net, the old keep net. Can you go back to blue crab? I can go back to blue crab. But I mean, we're not gonna do it anytime soon, I wouldn't think. Who knows, maybe we will. St. Croix is where it's at, it's very true. Marcus Wong, hey, you can stay in the same spot for the alligator guard, just cast over to the far left along the bank. Over here? Over the, on the left side, David? How goes the stream? Cole Sarky, just getting started, man. Just getting started. I'm having trouble uh, reading the chat because so many people are chatting, which is awesome. But uh, we're also catching a lot of fish, so every time I start reeling in a fish, I I, uh, I lose track of where I'm on the chat. The Halloween series is bomb. Yeah, the PC version shouldn't be different than other versions, though. Should be the same. Had to watch your nephew. No trouble there, Carson Peters. Got any tips for carp in real life? Looking for bait, spots, and tactics. You know, honestly, carp are just about everywhere. Um, and if you just throw out some, uh, you can start with just corn, or uh, you can really get into it and start using method leads and, and uh, hair rigs and all that sort of stuff. I'm actually going to be, uh, I've, I've thought about it, and I think I'm going to be putting out a video here soon about how to tie a, a hair rig on the uh, <clears throat> Modern Day Outdoorsman channel, so... WHAT?! That dude didn't fight at all! We just skated him in like there was nothing going on! Look at that. You know, I don't like it when you turn like that, buddy. Top notch. Can we get some sun. There's like no sun in Quanchkin. It's so dark. 61 pounds though. Top notch. I don't think I had many pictures of uh, Uni uh, Flathead, so I wanted to make sure we got another one. That was on the frog. Okay, seven out on a frog. Sounds good. What happened to Commander Doge? I don't know. I don't know. Haven't seen him in a while, though, have we? Really enjoying Verhanga lately, plus uh, probably a new favorite map. Verhanga is my favorite map, so yeah, understandable there. 27th biggest? Nice! Another trophy. EESS, the best for money and XP? It is indeed, Evan. It is indeed. Let's fish on the frog again. 
<clears throat> Biggest fish in real life is a 13 pound catfish. Ooh, what kind of catfish? Charlie Drawn? There's a good channel cat. A little seven pound channel cat. Wouldn't be nothing to fret about in real life. Be a nice little fish. <clears throat> Duck Gang, remember you? I, I remember everyone, so don't you worry. If you remember me, then you know that I remember everyone. Yes, over there, David Probus says, okay. All right, we'll try it. What is your name on Fishing Plan? It is okay to add you. It is okay to add me, but though the, the, the trick is that I, I don't say what my name is on Fishing Planet. You either have to be observant while we play or you have to guess. You have to guess correctly. It's it's the one password I have. You have to, to, to play with me, you know? Unique Lake Trout. Give a ton of XP and all you need is 200 pound keep net to make your money back. Yeah, it's just not as good. <laughs> it's not as good, you date. You're my favorite YouTuber. Aw, oh, thanks, Levi. Appreciate it. Let's go. Are going to have the Halloween series this year. It was how I was introduced to your channel. Carson Peters, right on. Um, yeah, definitely. Gonna have the uh gonna have it this year. Um Oh, we were snagged up there. Definitely gonna have it this year. I'm uh, I'm sort of doing some planning here. Of course, we have the Red Dead series going on right now, so we got a shell. Um, so it's taking up a bit of my time that I could be using doing some Halloween preparation, but uh, that's okay. We uh, we unfortunately might have to uh, play as much as we can in September, and then we'll have to uh, move it on over to like uh, Red Dead. February or something like that <laughs> Pick up where we left off in February of 2022. We'll just have to see I don't know how many people are like super into the Red Dead series right now I think it's hilarious, but uh, it's not getting a lot of views. So I don't know Uni flat mine 66 and some change D Y. Hey sounds good. I'm not really sure what mine is Guess we can do some simple scrolling here and find out eh? Well, let's see gonna be lower than the carp there mine 63 at the moment and it was on a frog So I guess we'll have to uh, put some frogs on these eh? There's some frogs on that This is a, still an a dot. Let's throw a seven odd on here. Yeah, are we seven odds all the way around we are Okay, cool. Let's uh, let's change the time real quick. Oh dang. I hate this. I'm not gonna be able to switch the time. What we're gonna do is we're gonna switch it to this time, and then that might go into the evening or at the night time, and then we'll do something else. So, all right, top notch. Seven here. I had to give up on Fishing Planet. It couldn't stay connected. Aw, oh, dang, devs. That stinks, man. Internet goals, am I right? Fishing Planner, right on hello. Missed your live last week, but I watched it. Hey, well, right on, Heifer Gaming. Appreciate it. It's always more fun to be in person, though. I, I think, anyway. What do you think? Meet 224. Keep repeating, but what's the button for you to cast the bobber pull out, not flip it? Uh, F11, I believe. Uh, I think I said that in one of the first episodes of the beginner series. We, uh, we were dealing with that as well, and then, uh, and then we pressed F11 and it fixed it. <sighs> channel cat. Oh, okay. Well, that's a pretty good sized channel cat there, Charlie. Pair of fish to catch right on Rock Hill. Mine, mine too, probably. I think they're a lot of fun anyway. Depends on where you're at. Uh, carp have slowly slipped into being one of my favorite fish, but uh, once again, it just depends on what what uh, what sort of fishing is around you, I suppose really determines what is a favorite fish to catch and all that sort of stuff. Ooh! Uh, set the hook. Not using circle hooks there, so we just set it. We just set it and just locked it in. 91 pound leather car fishing planet yesterday. Timothy, right on! That's a good one, dude. Here's a good little flathead. 
49 pounds, first one of the evening, good deal. They really need to redo the skin on the flathead, it's just not very impressive, is it? Oh, there's a take on the frog there. So this was on chicken liver. Which I'll be honest, probably wouldn't catch you a flathead in real life. Whoa! Oh! That's a... He at least was putting up a little bit of weight in the beginning there. Now we're kind of skating him in, but... Beginning there, wow. How can he gift things in Fishing Planet? Uh, I'm not entirely sure. I don't, I don't really know. Uh, I guess if you just go to your friends list and go to send gift, then you can send. Usually it's just holiday stuff, it seems, but, uh, yeah. Ugh. What if they forget you? What? What? First time in your live stream to watch all your videos. Benjamin Walker, right on, man. Appreciate it. Get this frog back out. Oh, that's a take. That's a run. That's a run. It's not running very fast, though, is it? Okay, there he goes. That rod's that rod tip's moving. Sad there's no unique alligator guard. I know. Uh hopefully we get one someday, eh? That would be pretty cool. That and the uh the old uh, sturgeon. Good old unique sturgeon would be cool. Big old thousand pounds or something. What? 62 pounds on this guy. Wow, oh, strike timed out on that one. Top notch. Two uni so far for the day. That was on the 7 off Frog. 7 off Frog's killing it. 1100 XP, not too shabby. Not too shabby. Can't fret about that, though, can we? <clears throat> Get out, Bootcamp of January. Thanks for all the tips and tricks you provide. D. White sounds good, man. Start RD story mode. Oh, thanks, Taven. What's the best fish to fish for in the Heron River? Smallmouth and largemouth. You can fish for them at the same time. Caught tons of unis, well good deal. Fish for bass while you're wait for a bite. Love it. I watch you know, I honestly don't have any rods to fish for bass. I, I, I don't even have a rod here. I have two match rods and four bottom rods with me right now. And uh, I didn't I didn't get one for bass, so darn it all. Funny story, I was extremely sick and I was scrolling through YouTube. I was into fishing and hunting at the same time your channel was in my recommended, the rest is history. Well, I, I like that history. Benton Humphreys, hi. Love your videos, greetings from Indonesia. Ooh. Enri Riera? Enriera? Am I saying that right? I hope so. Enriera? Well, right on. Greetings from Kansas, USA. <laughs> Take it. Stop fiddling. Stop fiddling. You feel like a unicorn? Late, you're bad, not big deal, man. His largemouth bass, right on Charlie. Blow jig heads and cut bluegill, you will slay him. Slay him. Yeah, uh, the bluegill is usually the problem. I usually don't have bluegill uh, available. I usually have to go like way out of my way to get bluegill and then go somewhere else, so. Eh. I'm gonna go camping here in a few weekends and I'm hoping I can do that. Everyone from different countries on it to see if you can get one person from every country. I don't think that's possible, but <laughs> it would be interesting to try. Do you hold the right mouse button after the initial hit or do you let go? Uh, it honestly depends on the pressure. Um, if you're doing fine on pressure, you don't need to hold it. But uh, if you're worried about it, then uh, then hold it. Spooky Jackson, hi. Thank you, thank you. Duck gang. A bunch of catfish, some really big, some really small. Very true. Yeah, all over the place so far. Uni Hino looking happy. Exact place I caught all my unis. I did it at night, but you're doing good. Oh, thanks, David. Yeah, we caught them all. And now they're all gone. We're not catching any more right now. Didn't miss much. Couple of trophies. Hey, I'm back, Rob. Dog right on, man. Saw you on Instagram. Messaging me. Jackson Rigoni, do I remember you? Do you remember me? If anyone remembers me, they remember one thing, 
And it's that I remember everyone. You never have to ask me if I remember you. Because I remember everyone. So it's not even something you have to ask. You know? Sturgeon used to make unique for the devs nerf them because people were leveling too fast. Is that right? Huh. That fish is a flathead that a friend it is native Aussie fish. Uh, the, the flathead fish in Australia is actually a different type of fish. But it's also caught a flathead. Yeah. Lang, thanks for getting me on track. Hey, right on, Spooky. I like that history. Best bait for Everglades. Uh, I don't know. I, know. I never used bait in Everglades, so I don't know. Sleep is key. Hi. Michigan is boosting your XP like crazy. Good money farm and surge and spot. Yeah, absolutely. 10 pound bass in real life. Dang, that's a good one. Do you fish in real life? We do. We have lots of videos on, on our channel about fishing. We actually have an entirely separate channel only for fishing and hunting and outdoor stuff called the Modern Day Outdoorsman, the MDO. If you haven't seen it, I recommend it. Go check it out. We only do outdoorsy stuff. And the last video actually had some fishing planted in it, so combine them together. Louisiana sounds good, Charlie John. Flatter, good fighting fish that is fresh in salt water. <sighs> Okie dokie. Wisconsin. Your friend introduced you to me? Well, right on. Man, we just slowed down, didn't we? Let's see. Oh, jeez. How do I not have enough? They have any barbel? They don't have any barbel soaps. Man, how have I used all of my barbel soaps? I'm down to four exactly. At least we finally got one on. Goodness gracious. This one's a little hefty, eh? Pulling a little bit. Usually ends up being a darn blue head, or not blue head, blue catfish at this point if they're being stubborn like this, but I'd gladly be wrong. I'd love it to be a good flathead. When's the next stream? Uh, Monday, I guess. Where are you going? Little Bird told me you may have just got some pretty sweet camping gear. Fake outdoorsman in the house. Good carp fisherman there. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's coming in uh, Monday, so uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just have to see. There's another trophy blue, not too shabby. I kind of want to uh, snag the uh, hook off this. Snag the hook off this guy and toss it onto one of these. Um, a crawfish, eh? I'm gonna toss it. I can't see where any swells are, unfortunately. Let's see. Do we have any markers that show? Not really. I'm like looking. Oh, there's a marker way out there. I'm just gonna toss it over here. See if we get lucky with an alligator gar. While we're waiting for a darn catfish again. You're from Canada. Oh, we'll right on Nathan G. Love your Red Dead Redemption videos. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. I'm glad you enjoy them. They're the heck of a thing to, to edit because they're long videos, but I, I, I hope people are enjoying them. Are they expensive? You're amazing, Cyclops. Well, thank you, Cyclops. Goodness gracious. Hey, Nathan is Nevin. Nevin? Videos I started watching in March, LBZ, right on. In March, too, very cool. Well, appreciate it. Glad you're doing. How's Bjorn doing? Bjorn's doing all right. He went for a run today. We've been exercising, so uh, he's he's doing all right, by golly. Is it cross-platform? Only between uh, people playing uh, via the Microsoft Store on PC and, uh, and people playing on Xbox, so. Um, I don't do that, so can't play with anyone. <laughs> Other than people on Steam. <laughs> Gotta get up for school tomorrow. Hey, sounds good, McMullen. Take care, man. Viking's here. How's it going, Viking? I know he likes the Red Dead Redemption series. 
Got to be like level 27 or something. I'll catch you next stream. Sounds good, McMullen. Can't thank you enough. You make so much content and you're kind to your community. It's insanely wholesome. Andrew Keys. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. I thought that was my match rod for a second. I kind of got excited. It's not, though. Dang it. I'm going to reel this in. Level 33. Uh, what are you fishing? Fishing for some catfish at the moment. Going to be going after some alligator gar here in, here in a while. So we'll try that. Let's see. I'm going to take that off there. i put it onto this one. And then I think I'll put a large minnow on. Toss it out as far as I can. Probably a waste of time. I don't know if we're going to be able to get anything, but we will see, eh? At least we know if we get some with these two metal rods, it's pretty decent chance it's going to be a gar versus a catfish, but uh, we'll see. This one on the way right here is way off in the moss right now. So our feeder is basically useless once you unlock bottom rods. I just unlocked my first and they seem like way more solid than feeders. Feeders. Basically useless once you unlock bottom rods. Um, yeah, kind of, in a way. They, uh, they're still pretty good for uh, some of the lower level uh, European fish and stuff like that. Uh, ruds and, and tench and stuff like that. So if you want to go for that stuff, yeah, you have to keep in mind that, <clears throat> um, you know, I think the first bottom rod you unlock is like 30 pounds. So if you're going for a bottom fish that's less than 30 pounds, then you're just asking to lose experience. So the, the feeders still have a point. It's just that there's a lot of big fish that feed off the bottom later on. So the bottom rods become more useful. Um, and then the carp end up using carp rods specifically, so. Woo! That's some drag there. I'm gonna get away from this beeping for a second. Probably gonna end up being darn blue. Darn blue! Come here, catfish. Oh, it's a flathead! Okay, y'all. Oh, oh, that's a big flathead, too. Oh, is this a trophy? Bro, you look so big, though. Oh, this is, uh, this is actually, a uh, match rod. Oh, this is not big. This is not big. Oh, thanks, Andrew Keys. Oh, we got a little channel cat here or something. Trophy channel cat on the large minnow on barbless hooks. Classic. There goes the bottom rod. And boom goes the dynamite. Goodness gracious. Seems like a pretty sizable fish. Goodness gracious. For XGXP, a little worse. Well, I was using barbless hooks. Trey, what game? Like the Red Dead series is one of my favorite games. I'll sound like a kid talking about it when I'm not. Hey, no trouble there. That's what games are all about. Bro, we just broke our PB. Let's go. Uh, I really need to bump up my my game when it comes to this stuff. That is a big fish, dude. Get a snag a little picture like this too, and hopefully still have time to go get that other rod here. Which one are you? Well, it's a little bit heavier. I'm assuming it's still not a gar though. Draggy odds here. How's it going? Get the kids to bed if you're still alive. We'll, we'll still be alive till 9.30, so you run a good chance, man. All right, we need to switch to something else here. Catching, they're still catching a lot of uh, catfish 
on the large minnows. Let's try something different. Are there any good fishing spots in Fishing Planet that are in Canada? Oh, I don't know. Is White Moose Lake in Canada? I want to say it is. Well, 90 map level just go, go up to 70. What? What? Patty's got to go. Take care, Patty. Uh, as I left, is he? Caden Dickinson. All right, let's get these out. Let's get a frog on this. We've uh, we've been having good luck with the darn frogs. Ooh, about overthrew that. Uni catfish, uni flathead out the yahoo. How many have we caught today so far? Three? We caught three. Okay, just want to make sure that was sitting down there. 400k, level 42, where should you go? God, I don't know. Is it still... Do you have San Joaquin or are you still fishing at uh, St. Croix, I guess? How do you view it like that? Like, hold it sideways. You had to catch a big fish. Your guy will do it automatically. People will always ask me, like, how do you use the metal grips as well for the fish? And that, that just comes down to the size of the fish as well. Um, you got to catch a bigger fish in the, uh, and it'll do that. So if you haven't seen it, you just haven't caught a big enough fish. What the heck here? Freaking trophy largemouth going after a frog. Dirty dog. He said, ooh, a frog. Don't mind if I do. I'll lock onto that. Usually I have to try to get him as they hop across the top of the water, but this guy's just sitting here, right on the bottom. <laughs> it's it's a secret, David. We won't tell anyone. Trey Anderson's line broke. Oh no. Do channels go to unique? They do. Yeah, they do. Car on cross with four odd hook at around 9 p.m. Ooh. Well, I did happen to uh, to look at some of our older videos catching alligator gar, and I I don't I don't think we're we're wrong there. I think uh I think we actually caught our I don't remember if it was the number four in the world or if it was number six. But uh, we caught him like real close to 4 a.m. I think it was like 3 a.m. or something like that. This guy's got a little weight on him. Putting up a little bit of a fight here. Another good sized flathead. Don't know which one to grab. Grab this one first. He's racing. He's way over here now. We run the best chance of catching a gar on those match rods, but I keep picking up the bottom rods first. Bo, what'd you miss? Zachary Akum, not a whole lot, man. I mean, we've caught like three unique flatheads, I guess, so I guess that's something, but. Working on math homework. Gosh dang it. Probably should have picked this one up. He's way over there now. I, I don't know, Caden. Don't know, man. I don't keep a I don't keep a track on his whereabouts, I suppose. Oh, this is really long. Shorten that. Didn't realize that was so long. Have you played Black Ops? Uh, when it first came out, yes, I did. Legit could come out of this lake right now. Sonia, what did you miss? Uh, a fair, a fair amount, I guess. Now that I think about it, we have caught a fair amount of fish.
Read the chat. I'm reading the chat. What are you what are you doing? You watching? You you watching me read the chat or something? Cause it's evidently not. You think that I'm not reading the chat? It's a great map. I think we should get a new map in Canada, maybe on the Ottawa River, Muskie Pike, Walleye, Sturgeon, maybe some others also. Yeah, might be pretty cool, eh? What happens in the Halloween events? You catch some Halloween-themed fish. A lot of monster stuff. I don't know the name. I haven't fished it yet. They could add deep water channel with striper channel cat, sturgeon, carp, bluegill, and like five other species of bass. Yeah, it sounds a lot like what we already have. And there's a lot of places in the in, in the world that we... Like, we have a lot of places to fish for channel cat and striper and carp and bluegill and stuff. That or it's already in the game. You know, when I'm thinking of something I want to fish for, I want to I want to fish for like golden dorado or goonch catfish or a tiger fish or a nile a nile perch or some like or ocean fish. Bring in the ocean maps or something like that. I, I don't need another map with bluegill and channel cat and bass and stuff. Like I'm tired of that stuff. We've already got that. Give me something else. Ooh, rumors, rumors, rumors. I heard rumors of fly fishing, but we haven't seen anything yet. Need a big boat. Yep, very true. Hope it's salt water. 75 gear would be expensive. Yeah, it would be expensive. But those people who are already at level 70, I'm sure, have plenty of money. So I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal for them. Carson Peters' phone died. Oh no, Archie! How am I doing? I'm doing quite well. Thanks for asking. Oh man. your vids keep up the good work thanks leaf thank you so, I, I still don't think we can change the time i was hoping it'd become night we still got half an hour in game time to switch till night time then we'll be able to change the time again but for now we're just kind of we're victims we just have to sit here Woo! oh that might be a gar Well, I think he's a catfish. Golly, I thought he was gonna max out the line for a second there. Oh, 25 pounder. Whoo, goodness gracious. Do you know the Halloween fish yet? Do I know the Halloween fish yet? Oh, I don't. Personally fished before in real life, but it's cool having new things in a variety. Very true. I mean, I, if if I want to go fish for things I can fish for in real life, I'll just go fish for it in real life. But the chances of me going to go catch uh, a tiger fish or a goonch catfish or something uh, tomorrow are very slim. So I would much rather have it in a game. <laughs> It would be pretty cool. Love the music, hey, thanks, Zachary. What is your favorite place to travel? Ooh, I haven't been. I haven't been to enough places to really say. Um, we have loose plans in the near future to uh, head. Well, the first one's Iceland. We were supposed to do that a while back. We're gonna go go there um, next year, and uh, I'd like to go to the Amazon at some point and we wanted to go to the Congo um, but we'll have to see we'll have to 
a lot of, a lot of plans, but they just haven't haven't really come to be. And my wife doesn't get a lot of vacation, so we uh yeah we have to spread things out. Oh, big nibbles. There he goes. He's got it now. I suppose face cam froze. No, I probably was just froze. Just keep, just keep jerking my face around so that it looks like it keeps freezing. Trophy channel there, good, or trophy flathead, goodness gracious. Still catching the flathead catfish. Good old frogs, slaying them. Ethan Haas is excited. 100k apiece, hopefully new fish nets and boats and everything. Hey, maybe. Catfish hit hard, yeah, evidently. This is a calm stream. Yeah, well, that's that's how it can be. That's how fishing is, eh? It's, it's nice and calm until until fish comes and bites your stuff, eh? And then it's running. And then 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 you got some action going on, like that. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Action packed. Boom, boom! Explosions. Guns firing. Whoa. Wow, oh, what's he gonna do? Go that way? No, oh, fight him, he nailed, fight him. Where is he gonna, go? oh, it's a blue catfish. Ooh, is he gonna be a trophy or not? We'll see. Nope, just a regular blue catfish. <laughs> we're about to uh, actually max out our keep net. We're gonna have to let some fish go if we're gonna go alligator gar fishing. Because we're not gonna have enough uh, space in our keep net for him. Imagine tuna boat They strike hard, but then they come in easy. I know right What is my favorite movie slash TV show? Ooh. I Don't know. I you know for the longest time. I always said that my favorite movie was a uh, Walter Mitty Guy traveling or w at least wishing he could travel works his whole life away Basically or at least that's how he feels and then he finally starts traveling and he realizes that he could have just been doing that the whole time basically and he he was holding on to things in life that he he didn't need to be and uh he should have just been out and traveling and you know doing some self-care basically but yeah that's what he ended up doing in the movie it was great really boost the game it's amazing i have not seen that no i mean i've seen trailers and stuff for it but i haven't i haven't watched it Come on, dude. Take it. Take it. This this rod has been getting a workout, dude. This is small. Small fish. Small fish. Come visit Alaska sometime. Yeah, absolutely. I've got a guy, a uh, best friend of mine who's up at a base up there. Should go visit him. Ugh. But uh, I'd love to go f salmon fishing up there. I think that'd be a blast. Watching from your iPad and fishing, right on, Caden. Are you getting the new Far Cry 6? Probably not. I don't think. Uh, it took me a long time to even buy Far Cry 5. It just didn't strike me as that fun, and it's kind of the same thing with Far Cry 6. It just doesn't look that fun to me. But, uh, yeah. Just, we'll just see. I'll end up playing it like a year later or something like that. <laughs> when it's half the price or something. Can't wait for that game. Ooh. Hey, I'm back. Ben's back. Back again. 330 pounds right now. Why are you screaming? Why are you screaming? Why are you dancing? What is the Discord link? What am I keeping at size? It stinks. Yeah. Do you have to be to go here? Um, I don't really know. 28, maybe? 26, D. White says. It's something like that. It, can't, it doesn't tell us unless we're at the main map, so we can't see. We're three minutes away from nighttime. I'm gonna start reeling in stuff. That way we can get going. 
Right as it turns, right as it turns the night, we'll be able to just switch on over and go gar fishing. I'm ready. I'm ready for it. We're in one of your videos and you said you are too fat. I think that you're wonderfully made, Po. <laughs> That's funny. I'm too fat. Oh my goodness gracious. He must be a string bean then. Forty pound keep net big enough for St. Croix with no premium? I would think so. That's a lot of fish. There we go. Nighttime, man. Our nuts agreed. My parents went up fishing in, in uh, Alaska for salmon. They caught a whole bunch of them. Alrighty. Switching on over. Hopefully get some good alligator gar over in these parts. Let's uh, change the time to a little bit, a little bit something, a little bit nicer. At least get some bites here. Okie dokie. I think we're at three and four, right? Three and four. Where are the swells? That is the question. So usually I do all right just casting straight out over in this part. And then I also do pretty well getting stuff over here as well. Oh, I actually remember now. I need to, or I cannot see anything. My light's not good. I actually need to set up over here. I'm remembering now. It's all coming back to me. It's all coming back to me. Here we go. All right, so we're gonna throw one over here into this little hole. And then with the other one, we're going to toss it on over. Over here. So we got the tips of the trees over here and right out kind of in front of those. That's kind of where I am. You can also go more over to the right depending upon where the big swells are. But for now, I think we're gonna just toss it over yonder. Now I might throw out a bottom rod too with some crawfish. <clears> Hundred percent <throat> on Far Cry Primal. Oh, okay, a co completionist, eh? Trophy and uni are only common. They go to trophy, they don't go to uni. Not yet, anyway. I'm gonna toss this one over a little bit more to the right. That would be a good Halloween event, wouldn't it, David? You gotta catch the monster trophy fish or the monster Halloween fish while Jason's chasing after you if it's anything like the zombie cat it, I don't think that would be a problem at all we caught that guy in like two seconds <clears throat> he is tiny 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 bro you know how much you know how much I weighed in eighth grade I was already fully grown 165 pounds in eighth grade I was I was I was a young man <laughs> I'm at Lone Star Lake using small minnows, getting trophy crappie so I can level up. Sounds good. Good way to do it, Javion. Avion. How do I say that? On PC, but I mainly play on PS4. Sounds good. Grinding to make money in XP, LBZ says. D White, uh, like I said before, uh, you can play on PC on Microsoft Store. And if you do that, you can play with people on Xbox. That's it. That's all there is cross-platform. Halloween kills? Uh, maybe. We'll just have to see, Michael. There's fish on. That's a gar. Doesn't seem too big, though. 
Little guy. He's just a little guy. But our first gar of the evening, that's not too bad. Hello. How are... Look at those teethers, though. That's what I like to see. Over in this little cubby over here. Okay. Kind of feels like Crystal Lake and I... Man, everyone's just getting into this Halloween mood. Thinking about Jason and Michael Myers and everything. Goodness gracious. Jim. Clash Royale. Well, my goodness gracious, Jasmine. Big boy. No trouble there. Cars and beers, may we have a lodge tour in the Hunter? Um, I mean, you could, or you could just watch my last video of was it whenever I gave a lodge tour. I think it was at the end of a stream, actually. Really hasn't changed much. I think we've shot diamonds and stuff, but I, I always forget to put them up. I don't know. Like we shot that diamond goose yesterday, and I can't tell you when we'll actually end up putting in the lodge. <laughs> It does sound cool, I agree. I merely adopted the darkness I was born in. <laughs> I was already a man. I was already a man. Pro public transportation. <laughs> Fishing planet games from Steam and Microsoft on computer. Oh. <sighs> do you ever host tournaments? I do not, no. Probably because I only play on live streams and I've never done a tournament on here. We usually always find something else to do, so. Leaf has got to go. Hey, take care, Leaf. The alligator gar are being choosy, are they not? Oh, well, you, you kind of say some bad stuff about them and then they go ahead and bite, eh? Okay, I see how it's working. Ooh. ooh. Got some space between where the... Where the line's going in the water and the fin on the back there, so hopefully it's a decent one. He's pulling us out anyway. Putting up a little bit of a fight. Come on, you. Only at 50 likes? Well, probably because we only have 50 people watch. I don't understand. Every single person has hit the like button because they're a responsible person. And I and I love that, you know. I love how everyone is responsible here and hits the like button immediately. <clears throat> That's why I don't even ask. I don't even... I, you'll, you'll notice I never, I never ask for it. Ever. Look at that. Going up to a 78 pounder there. Not too shabby. Look at Hino. Nothing. Not like a sack of potatoes. Just... Want me to do some reps? Do some simple 78-pound alligator gar reps? Huh? What, what more do you want from me? I'll smile while I do it, he nail says. Right on. Well, that's a good-sized fish there, man. They get to the point, the alligator gar do, where you can't, uh... You can't fit them in the photo. <laughs> <clears throat> Up to 78 pounds. We need to get into the 90s, man. Getting you KFC? You all right on. Love KFC. Hello. Who you do? Love gut. Well, thank you for the sub. Appreciate it. Against these guys. I had a big one on when I was here. Dude got all the way to 25 feet from the shore and then bit through the line. Oh, dirty dog. Man. <coughs> Goodness gracious. Will bigger hooks catch bigger fish? Um, in theory, um, at the same time, if you go too high, <clears throat> you'll find that... Um, there's like a happy medium, I guess I should say. And uh, and I like to say, like, uh, with Pike at St. Croix, like, I always say that the the seven-aught hook is, uh, is the happy medium. You'll catch uniques with a seven-aught. You'll catch 
10 pound fish with a seven hot you'll catch everything in between um and that's fine with with pike because they play they pay well no matter what what their weight is but when you get to um fish like catfish and stuff like that where you're kind of only wanting to catch the big ones or something like that that's when you kind of want to get out of that happy medium um but there comes a point where you're using really big hooks and uh and i think just after my time of playing that if you use too big of a hook you'll you'll catch um you you run a chance of catching the largest fish don't get me wrong but you'll have a high chance of catching really small fish for some reason don't know why they did it that way but that's just the way they did it i guess to tell you that you're using too big of a hook so like when we were over in the other area and I put on a 9 knot hook um, or an 8 knot hook, I can't remember, remember which one it was, we started catching young channel cat over and over again. And, uh, and I take that as Fishing Planet's way of saying, hey, you're using too big of a hook. You're just going to catch these tiny little runt fish that you don't want. So that usually tells me that I need to go down a size. So... Uh, so if you're using a 10 knot hook at St. Croix and you keep catching these little 7 pound northern pike or something like that, it's usually a sign that your hook's too big. Um, and that kind of goes with everything in the game, I, I think anyway. Scanning head laser thing going? Oh, we got one over here now. Woo! A drag on that, man. Just gets me every time. I should have the same reel on this uh, on this rod as the other one too, so might be able to go up one drag with the other one. Woo! He like came out of the water like a tarpon. Guy yeah, might be in the 50s or 60s. I can't can't entirely tell right now. Doesn't have as much space between the uh, line and the fin there, but still. Still all right. Woo! I was trying to catch him get out of the water there, but every time I zoom in, he uh, there we got him. A little forty pounder or something. 42 pounds, yeah. Oh no, our keep net's too big. Here we go. Let's take some stuff out. So there's our young channel cats that we were catching. Don't need that blue cat. Let's get rid of some of these blue cats. We're just gonna keep the flatheads. There's a trophy blue cat. Eh, I'll keep him, I guess. <laughs> Well, 10 live streams understandable I still haven't seen a swell I don't know what the deal is I maybe it must just be hard to see because it's nighttime or something but yeah usually you can kind of see out there and see where uh, the activity is but not right now anyway what is that a stick See if we can see uh, activity in the water here. Love your videos, Alec Nicotra. Thank you. Appreciate it. Here I can say buying a method lead. Understandable. <clears throat> Bro made you so mad. <laughs> How was last stream? Wasn't able to make it. I had basketball. No trouble there. Um, I think it went pretty well. We got a we got a diamond goose, which was kind of neat. No, I wanted to say nice, and I went to say neat and said night. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, rebroke your tailbone. No, that's no fun. That stinks, dude. I there sometimes I fell down and I thought to myself, oh god, if I ever broke my tailbone, that would be so horrible. But I never actually did it, so my gosh, that doesn't sound fun at all. 
weekend is a night race. Whoa. How's Red Dead going? Uh, going pretty well. We, uh, I'm, I'm hoping that I can finish record, uh, not recording, but, uh, editing this video for tomorrow. Uh, but I don't think I'm gonna have a video out on Friday, unfortunately. But I will have another vlog on the MDO. Which is fun. Andrew Keys just now subbing. Goodness gracious, Andrew Keys. Show the keep net at the end. Colin Smith with the sub as well. Thanks so, cool, so much, Colin. <clears throat> That's always good. Oh. Appreciate it. Definitely gonna bump the hook size up on those on the sturgeon. Yeah, I mean and that's and I think the largest hook I used on sturgeon was maybe a five a four or five so um, I think I use fours because I have an X series four I think four uh, so I don't think I go any higher than that Which sturgeon give you money no matter what the size is so it's, it doesn't matter it just you just need to catch a lot of them they only go up to like 55 pounds or something, so. <clears throat> Bolivia Mafia, I'm new. Sorry if it, you did, I'm new. Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. Is that Maroon River there in Bolivia? I, I don't know. I don't know their positions. It's Jason. Jason. The knights who say knee. <laughs> yes. Yes, indeed. Man, things have really slowed down. It's gonna get lighter here in a minute. Yeah, just like that. Boom! It's daytime. We still have 50 minutes, goodness gracious. Oh, there's a swell. Finally, actually saw some activity. <laughs> Sweaty vibe. Thank you for the sub. Appreciate it. And pants? A poop in the pants? My goodness gracious. Thanks for the sub. Had to be the re, re the animation. Oh, okay. Understandable. Uh, I'm not really sure, you Dave. I think um, it only does it sometimes. It's so hot here. Can't wait for cool. It is hot, and I have this giant light on. I mean, this is this is what it would be without this giant light on my face. It's already cooler. You have no idea how hot this this light is. So, keep this light on so you can actually see me. And it's very hot. <clears throat> so I have my fan spinning like super fast right now, just so I can keep it kind of cool in here. But yeah. So, just wondering if I would do that. Yeah. I'm not really sure. And it's really easy to just uh, just turn off the overlay too. See, look at that. We saw the swell over there, and we cast it over there, and immediately got one on. I wouldn't say immediately. It took seven minutes in game, but uh, it's pretty close. Keep the good work, beautiful man. Are you saying the work is beautiful, or that I'm a beautiful man? I'll take either. I think both of them sound great. <laughs> Ooh, spooky light. There's a trophy alligator gar. 51 pounds. That's all right, eh? Not too shabby. Not too shabby. I still I still have one. I still need to catch one more. Then we'll go back to uh, fishing for catfish, I guess. Part of me wants to go to St. Croix and try to catch a big old blue cat. So we already got a lot. We already got a lot of fish. What's your other channel called? The MDO, Modern Day Outdoorsman, man. It's a good, it's a good one. A good, good one. 
great and good put together. Should get one of those studio lights that you point up at the ceiling and it'll light the room up. Yeah. I mean, I can do that. I'll show you. That's, that's, that's what it looks like when it points up at a white ceiling, mind you. So it's not, my, my camera can't even focus on me. There's not enough, not enough light on me. It is cooler though, I will say. This is slightly, slightly pointed up. It's still pointed at me. Is that, that okay? Still see me? Still, still have everything going on? Ugh. What is the Discord? What is the Discord? Goodness gracious. Melanie, he already posted it the last time you asked. Makes me happy. You're absolutely amazing, bro. Keep being the best. Don't stop one of the best people. Don't stop one of the best people. Okay. I won't. Ryan Polkenhorn. Just handing out, handing out, uh, uh, nice things, I guess, to people. What? <laughs> Compliments. <laughs> Blank in here. The dog fight between our dogs. Oh, I understand that, Carson. I understand that. Scotty Rob, hi. You stuck on caps or something? I got six and two are hostile. You have six dogs and two are hostile? Goodness gracious. Very true, David. Good point. Discord link is always in the description. I'm gonna say that the bite's off. Let's call it. Let's 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 call it here. The bottom rods did absolutely nothing. So. I would say if you come out here looking to catch some alligator gar, you're probably better off sticking to the match rods. But I thought I'd throw them out there just in case. Just in case. Alrighty, let's see what this uh, next day is gonna do for us. Oh, it's the same as the last day. Uh, well, it was a clear sky. Now it's misty again. Foggy, I guess. I don't know. All right. Let's go over here. Okay, what should we do? Should we catch a few more flathead? And then, uh, and then maybe switch over to somewhere else? We've got a lot of time left. Uh, 40, 43 minutes. Okie dokie. Throw these in here. I'm just gonna go all frog. If we were going to catch a big channel cat, what would you use? They only go up to what? Let's see. Channel cat. 32 pounds. That's not bad. <clears throat> what do you think that is? Like a 5 out hook? So they craws and crayfish. Okay. What they like, anyway. Well, let's... Uh, these are all 7 knots. Let's, uh... Throw the frog on there. We're gonna put crayfish on these ones actually, and we're gonna switch to a five odd hook. Let's see, oh, I don't have a five odd hook. I have a four odd hook though. Switch to a four odd hook. Let's see if that does it. Okie dokie. Blue crab. Uh, I want to I keep it as a catfish though. I'm gonna throw one over here or some some off the wall.
getting still getting a small mouth buffalo are you trying to get the the mad eye or something like that how heavy a rod do you recommend for st croix pike lure fishing oh uh, i don't know close to 24 pounds i would say 24 pounds is probably good i think 24 pounds is a good fighting fighting strength for pike 24 25 i guess <clears throat> they go up to like 40 though so i mean that that just shows you how you can still catch them on a lighter rod these are both going we got a fish on that one too this is probably a blue cat that grabbed this he's fighting That's heavy. Now, I don't know what we got. It's a four odd hook, but they are just going for it. Skating them now. This is a flathead. I was not expecting. 28 pounder. Grab it. Come on, Hino. That other one's like going crazy now too, the fourth one. Mmm, strike timed out. That's a freaking blue cat. I hate blue cats. <clears throat> Trophy. See you later, Andrew. Very true. Howdy, sir. Douglas, how's it going? Goodness gracious, guys. Beeping like crazy. Is this a blue cat? It is a blue cat. Forget that. I don't want a blue cat. I don't want no blue cat. Of course, this isn't a heavy fish either. The beeping gets annoying. I agree. Little tiny channel cat on this one. Baseball practice, what's good? Catfish are good, man. We're catching catfish out there. Oh, you just did a backflip. Two trophy blues, even though we're not trying to catch trophy blues. Money cast. You're trying to catch a catfish, Dana. Nope, 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 nope. That was all I wanted. Little late to the stream, Faded says. No big deal. No big deal. Gosh, you can cast this thing far. I cast over here. The bells are worse. Yeah, I'm not really sure what I uh, prefer. 
Really loud bells or really loud beeping. Turns out that uh, repetitions of any loud sound is kind of annoying. Doesn't matter what it is. <laughs> <coughs> That's something on. Make my day better. Scotty, Rob, you are completely wrong. I hope you know that. I want you to know how wrong you are, Scotty, Rob. I can, I, I care 110% that my videos make people's day better. That, uh, that, that means a lot to me. Pro I hate to say as much, but it, it, it means as much to me that my videos make people happy that uh, than the people who watch them and, and, and are happy, you know? That that makes me happy because it... The live streams are an exception because they don't take much work at all. I just have to play a game and it records it and makes a video. People who stream, you know, that's that is nothing compared to people who record videos on the daily. <clears throat> but the people who record videos and record an hour to an hour and a half or longer of, of, of gameplay and then they edit it down to a 20 to 30 minute long video, like, streamers have no idea how much work that is. So, the fact that people find that entertaining or, you know, whatever, like, that's, that is awesome to me. And I appreciate hearing it, so... Almost forgot to like the stream. Oh man, that would be embarrassing. No way. Couldn't catch the stream for a while. How are you doing? Trophimov. Trophimov. Uh, I'm doing quite well. Thanks for asking. We got something on here. It's being wily like a catfish. This is usually when you're uh, when you're carp fishing and uh, and your rod tip does this thing where. It <laughs> usually the sign that you have a catfish on. <laughs> Nick Heiser, how's it going? It's going pr pretty well. Thank you for asking. We got a lot of unique flathead to begin with. Not so much now. That is okay. <clears throat> oh, well, thanks, Leaf. Oh, that was not the right one. Nicholas Devage, hi. Love your videos, and I love the game, and I wish I could see you. You are my favorite YouTube or Fishing Planet. Or for Fishing Planet. Well, thanks, Steven. Appreciate it. How much more XP do you need to get to level 60? Oh, God, I don't know. Uh... 84,000? 84,000 XP. Probably should be fishing for carp or something right now, but we're fishing for catfish because someone wanted to. Obviously, if you if you haven't been able to tell by now, um, I'm not someone who just fishes at the places to level up as fast as possible. <laughs> that would be really boring, and that's how you get bored playing games. I just fish wherever people want to see fishing, or, you know, wherever sounds fun. Even if it's not the best place. You know, do I wish that Flathead would give me enough XP to level up to 60? Absolutely. But, you know, 1500 XP a piece, or what do we got? This Trophy Blue Cat gave us 2000. It's not too shabby, I suppose. Not as much as a 5,000 XP carp, but you know, it's so whatever. Go to Kanique next, or St. Croix. I'm thinking about going back to Weeping Willows. That sounds fun. I've been watching a lot of Corda. Corda does these uh, carp fishing, like, training videos or whatever. They're really high quality. Like, if you, if you haven't seen, like, a super high quality, like, fishing channel or something in a while, look up the Corda training videos on YouTube. They are really well made. And, uh, and they're a blast. Um, I'm blanking on the guy's name. But the main guy, and, uh, and then Daryl Peck is usually with him. 
the two of them are uh, are awesome great anglers what's the cheapest bass boat anyone know i got a little over 100k right now uh i don't know don't worry about boats not until you get to blue crab don't worry about boats just buy fishing gear rods and reels and stuff if you need a boat buy uh, the cheapest kayak you can get <laughs> Some beeping, but I don't know which one it is. It's this one way over here. It's a little fish. Little fish. Oh, that's what we're going for. <clears throat> Getting better. You watch them in class. Porto Master Class is so good. Yeah, see, you get it. Yeah, they're great. They're great videos. Haven't talked in a while. Tristan Gabbard. The Gabbard or Gabbard. I just make that a thing every time I read your name. I just like to ask that question because for some reason I can never remember. <laughs> Absolutely, Le Leaf. And David Probus is really good about that stuff. In fact, I think David, you're you're in school, so you're in school for that stuff, right? So David's David's prayers are worth like a hundred times more. He's got like plus plus one hundred holy damage when it comes to prayers, I think. So he is the best one you could ask. He knows more about that stuff than anyone here. No doubt. Do you like fishing for tarpon in that game? Uh yeah. When they're biting. Or when I catch a big one, I guess. The tarpon are fun, don't get me wrong. But they're just not... They're just not, uh... I don't know. They're just not consistent enough, I guess. And the people who are like, Yeah, I catch tarpon all the time, I love them. Like, they're the ones fishing with bait. And they just, like, catch them and reel them in, like, super fast like any other fish. And it's just like, well, that's not what the tarpon are about. <laughs> the tarpon are about getting them hooked and then fighting with them for a while which is what you can do with like poppers and whatnot but it's whatever it's it's whatever it's so boring what's so boring gavin you're happy you got your kfc right on i'm in seventh grade right now if it gets stressful easily and seeing your live streams or videos puts a smile on your face drop them off love to hear it that's awesome well i you know I'm, I'm sorry that it gets stressful, but I am glad that things get better. Um, that's, that's what I like to hear. Unknown CJ, hello, how are ya? It's spelled Gabbard. Gabbard, but it's spelled Gabbard. Okay. Bro, I am going to get this. Ah, freaking blue cat. Dude, uh. Lakers all day. There's a fish on. This is gonna be our first flathead unique. Doesn't seem like it, does it? <laughs> Was hoping to see those meters go up really high, but no. Just can't grind this game anymore. I used to every day. Well, that's uh, that's why you don't grind, man. You see me grinding? You see me getting upset that I'm still playing this two years later? <laughs> no. It's because I don't grind. I just play the game and have fun. If you grind, you get tired of playing the game. We all know raptors are the best. Does anyone even know what a laker is? But I bet you a, a, a velociraptor would absolutely destroy it. Unless it's an actual lake. And then, I don't know, a Velociraptor would just go drink it up, I guess. I don't know. Celtics forever? Ooh.
Oh my gosh, the beeping, I know, means that there's a fish on, right? Super exciting, everyone loves the beeping. Every time I hear it, everyone's like, ah, oh, more beeping, and, they're, and they ask me, they're like, Bo, can we get more beeping, please? And I'll go, hey, it all depends on if we're catching fish, you know. I don't have any control, I do, I do what I can. I choose the terminal tackle, I choose the bait, I throw it out there. Well, I don't throw it out, he know actually throws it out there. But after that, you know, the beeping is all chance, my friend. Um, I, if I could get more beeping, I would. Don't you bull, I mean, don't you doubt it for a second. Ah, dang it. Come on, man. Tunis back to back, 62 pounds and 66 pounds. Tags right on. That's awesome. In NBA, I, I do not know, Leaf. I do not know enough about the NBA. The greatest of all time, Will Chamberlain, of course. <laughs> I have no idea. Sorry, one week ago, I'm level 53 with no packs. Uh, I would say so, Camden. I'd say you've got, you've, uh, you've put in some, some decent time into the game. <laughs> I bet so. It's because all I can do is fish and Lone Star because I don't have any money. Well, Gavin. I don't know what you're doing then, man. If you're grinding away at Lone Star, you, you should be getting enough money to head over to Mudwater at some point. What is my dream car? Oh gosh, I don't know. I don't have a dream car. I've never been a big car person. Cars are uh, are a way to carry all of my stuff from one place to another, including me. <laughs> as long as I can fit everything into it and take me fishing or take me on a trip somewhere, that's, that's, that's all I need. <laughs> I don't know. A lot of times I think that uh, one of those camper vans is, is more like my my style of a dream car. Cool camper van, has a stove in it or something like that, bed and all that sort of stuff. Carries all my fishing gear. I can just go out to a lake and just park it alongside it and go fishing. Whew, dream car, man. Come on. Two and a half hours from your house, doctors were there, and I have a nephew who was a tar heel. He had tar on his heel. What? I've been playing this game for over two years, and I'm level 24 because I found out that Fortnite existed. I've never played Fortnite. <laughs> Uh, I, I, that's a lie. I did one time my brother needed to go to the bathroom and he was like, yeah, just just stand in this house and just if anyone comes through, just shoot him. And I was like, OK, I got it. And a dude like came in to the house and I shot him with a shotgun and then he just started shooting me and I tried shooting him again, but I died. And then Zach came back and he was like, ah, oh, did a guy come in? I was like, yeah, guy came in. Dang it all. For a long time, beast mode, right on. We'll appreciate it. Lincoln Continental, A. Eh? So much trouble with that car. Got this one guy going off fine I think his name's Lebron. Lebron Jamaz. Never heard of him. Lebron Jamaz? J Jamie's? Lebron Jamie's? Never heard of him. Never heard of him. 50-year-old Steph Curry. <laughs> you haven't played this game in a while? Well, what you waiting for, huh? I cannot believe we haven't caught a unique uh, flathead yet. What is this? A little channel cat. Only 22 minutes left. It's, uh, it's catching up, isn't it? I want to paint it orange with the 01 on the side. General Lee, huh? 13 pound trophy channel cat, getting up there. 
these uh, four odd hook uh, crawfish are not doing well. We might have to reel them in and go for something else. <laughs> I recognize the names. I just, I'm, I'm just messing. I'm messing. 1970 Chevelle. Oh, let's see here. Why is the line here? That's not right. Toss this out. Lebron Jahames? Yeah, right, you day? What the heck? Who the heck is that? And then my friend Australia Lockdown. Oh, yeah, that's true. What is my dream fish then? Goliath Tigerfish, hands down. You cannot tell me that you would not want to catch a Goliath Tigerfish. Those things are freaking cool, man. You know, in the grand scheme of scars, like, you know how people are like, oh, you know, I got this scar from doing this and I got this scar from hitting my head on a dresser when I was three years old, you know? Could you imagine just catching a Goliath tiger fish and then just like sticking your arm in its mouth and then just having these giant bite marks on your forearm and being like, yeah, that was from a Goliath tiger fish I caught. I'm not saying 100% that I would do that because if I started really gushing blood, you know, what sort of hospital situation would I have in the Congo? But, uh, definitely tempting. <laughs> that would be a cool scar. <laughs> What is beeping? None of my lines are moving. But, uh, that's a big fish. Hello from Spain! Just came from fishing real life to see you fishing in Fishing Planet. Love your vids! Wowie zowie. You're up early in the morning, I guess. Hey, 4 a.m.? Here's a flathead. Doesn't seem that big, though. Trophy? Come on, man. Give me a big one. Give me a big one. Show me the big fish. Show me the big fish, e -nil. Doesn't seem like a big fish. Rick rolled. Guess your age? Bro, I don't know. I can barely see your little profile picture. How can I guess your age? Didn't expect that at all. It's a pretty good sized fish. Lots of beeping going on in the background, but hopefully we can drown it out with this music. <laughs> good deal. Pick it up, you know. Come on. Wee! Woo wee! <clears throat> Why is his name He Nil? Oh. He's got a great backstory, don't you know? No, it was a joke when, uh, whoa, this is a big guy. Oh, are you serious? That's the second time I swear I was reeling in a flathead. And as I was reeling in him, I thought to myself, that's a big one. Holy crap. And then ends up being a small little dude. That's just, that's the second time. The last time I said that it was a little flathead as well. 31 pounds though. Jeez Louise, man. <clears throat> Thought we had a big one on there. Back when, um, old, uh, Beyond the Odyssey was a regular, and now she got this boyfriend. We don't see very much of her anymore. But back when she was a regular, um, she had told us that, uh, her dad looked a lot like this character that we have in Fishing Planet. And, uh, and I said, oh, that's really interesting. What's his name? And, and she said, his, his name is, is Henry, but he goes by Bill. And I was like, oh, that's funny. You, you should just call him Henil or something. Combine the two names together. That way you can just say his name all the time. And then I thought to myself, that's really interesting. Henil, that's an interesting name. Kind of sounds like an alien. And, uh... And then we just made up a story that, um... Uh, 
the guy in Fishing Planet is so strong because he's an alien. <laughs> he just really likes fishing. Really likes fishing in, uh, in, in Earth, so. Gas is so stupid right now. Gas is expensive. It's a, it's a limited material. And, uh, and you know, you can, you can open up the market. You can open up the reserve, uh, gasoline and, uh, and allow everyone to have it at a cheap price, uh, up until the point where you're kind of running low again. And then you have to, uh, reserve it some more and the prices go up and, uh, and then people take that and they hate some people and they this, you know, they like other people. All I'm saying is that if the gas is uh, is cheap under one person, it, it's not because they're being responsible <laughs> or that they're making a good choice. If someone's been saving up uh, saving up boxes of cookies for two for two years, and these are cookies that don't go bad, mind you. Um, and then, uh, and then their brother comes along and gives away the cookies for free to, for everyone. Uh, you're gonna like his brother because he gave the cookies away to you for free. But the person who's been saving up cookies this whole time is gonna be mad because you gave it away for free. And then, uh, and then, and then someday comes along where you go and you ask for free cookies and that guy who's been saving it up for two years or four years or more says no we need to hold off I, I can't give away cookies for free I've been I've been saving these up um, and then all of a sudden you get mad at them and you're like well the last guy was giving them away for free what the heck unique flatheads out the yahoo man oh that's not even the right one This one's kind of heavy too. We're really pulling them in pretty easily though. Dollar 31 in Canada? Yeah, that's not bad at all. Is this a channel cat? Yes, bro! I tried going after him with the crawfish, but he wasn't going after the crawfish. That's not even, like, they go up to 32 pounds, I think, so it's not even super big, but hey. Let's go. Keenail, look at your monster channel cat, man. Oh, gosh. Hide it. Hide it away. Is that as much as we can zoom in? Look at your channel cat, Heenail. I don't know why he has spots. That's a giant channel cat to still have spots, but hey. Top notch. Well, still $1,000, 324 XP for a unique channel, man. That's sweet. And a new PB at that. Bro. We're just pulling all sorts of fun stuff out of here. Do you have to pay 1.2 mil for a one-story house with a small backyard? Not in Kansas. We got lots of space over here. But in some places where space is limited, you know, it does get up that high. There are definitely uh, houses near me that get up that to that price, but my god. They're, they're really big houses, but I don't think they're worth that much. The housing market's kind of crazy right now. And I'll tell you what, the people making it crazy are the ones making money from it, so they don't care. <laughs> so, people just need to stop buying houses, which I realize isn't really a choice that they can make, but hey. Or a choice they want to make, but it's kind of harsh reality. What's that on the leaderboard? I don't know, it could be in the top 100, maybe. Oh, they're a little flathead. Trophy 49. Man, we're just pulling in fish one after another, are we not? Put it in the holder. Is nuts agreed. 
Yeah, we, we honestly bought our house. We were super lucky. We bought it before the housing market got crazy. It was crazy. Do you play Warzone? I do not play Warzone, no. Golly, dude. What is this? I'm not even gonna throw this out because I know it's just gonna eat a bite. Oh, this is a tiny little fish. Let's go get the other one, see. Two tiny little fish, what the heck? Fishing kids got five minutes. I've got uh, 11 minutes. See if you can push your five minutes to 11 minutes. Jean-Luc, 27-inch pike. Oh, he's gone. And have you caught a gars? Eric and Moore. We have, yeah. We caught a couple of gar uh, in the previous evening. I guess we could, uh, now that we've caught some, some uni flathead, we could just switch over to nighttime and catch some, catch a few more gar before the end of the uh, stream here. Got some, uh, got a Uni Channel Cat here. <laughs> Look how happy he is. And uh, then we got some Uni Flatheads as well. Couple there. Pretty cool. Let's go see if we can um, switch to nighttime and we'll. Uh, Catch a few more gar, I think. Switch to our match rods here. We got 14 crawfish left. Not really sure why we're using crawfish. You would think that huge cut bait would be better. In fact, I think I'm gonna use, oh, I'll throw a crawfish out on this one. I think I'll use huge cut bait on the next one. Just cause usually in real life, a huge cut bait would be kind of what you're using or a full size, full size uh, small carp or something like that would do really well. I'm gonna throw a huge cut bait on this one. I'm gonna toss it out over here. Just came in to stop and say hi. Van D, well thank you, appreciate it. Glad you're here. Illinois, most of my friends moved away and I lost contact with them all. You know, that's uh, that's just kind of part of life, isn't it? Kind of a, a harsh reality. I remember when my brother was in high school. It 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 it, it was kind of mean on my part, but uh, my brother was in high school and he was spending time with with his friends instead of doing stuff with me when I would come home for, you know, when I would come home from from college and and go my to my parents house at the time and Zach would spend his his evenings hanging out with his uh with his friends in high school and I remember one time I got frustrated with him and I said Zachary here's the harsh reality of it you will not see half of those friends after after high school like you will never see them again just saying I don't know I don't know why you're wasting your time hanging out with them when you're never gonna see them again <laughs> and uh and was that mean? Probably. But, uh, you ask him now. I bet he does not see a lot of those friends anymore. We got something on here, though I don't really know what it is. Ooh, I think it's a gar. I think I saw the... Oh, yeah, that's a fin. That's a fin. How long have we been on YouTube? February 2019. One, two... Coming on three years, I guess. Your outro is the best. Oh, thanks, Leaf. Eat full carp, right? Knew they were big. I didn't know they were that big. Well, 
And I think they use buffalo down in Texas, just because there's a lot more buffalo in Texas. But uh, but yeah, pretty sure. I, I remember in River Monsters anyway, they well, they might have cut it in half, I guess, maybe. I don't know. Not sure. Small carp, though. Not, I mean, just, you know, little ones. Well, I say little, but, you know, for a carp that's like this long. But 39 pound alligator guard there on the huge cut bait, mind you. So that is kind of neat. You don't unlock the huge cut bait for a long time, but it's good to see that it's something else that the uh, gar will go for. That's good. Might be able to get away with large cut bait, too. What do you recommend for lake trout and white moose lake? I always use just medium spoons and and uh, and, and crankbaits. I always thought that, that, that those worked pretty well. Bow or gun hunting more? You know, I honestly don't have... I, I haven't ever had a, a lot of time to go bow hunting or to put in the time that, that bow hunters usually do. Um, and to be honest, I don't think I've ever had the interest to do that either. So, um, not bow hunting, just to go out multiple times to set up and scout and do all the stuff needed for bow hunting. So, um, so the majority of my life, I've always hunted with a rifle, but... Recommend for world records 289 for alligator gar. Ooh, another one on the huge cut bay, dude. Some single spoons. You love Texas? It has its ups and downs, doesn't it? You want to visit Texas? I just want to go there and catch alligator gar. <laughs> and then I'll come back. What's the best lure for bass in the Everglades? Oh man, hard to say. You'll want to switch. You'll want to switch to a couple different lures. I, I, you know, I like switching back and forth between the frog and the buzzbait. I think those are two solid lures. But you can, uh, you can go to the spinner bait as well. Switch to a spinner bait. Mix it up. Um, what else? What else can you use? Walker, you can do a walker on top of the water as well. Ugh. Yeah. Good amount of stuff you can use there for, for bass. Absolutely, Truffle Mob. It's only fun if you talk with people. I mean, what's the point of having a live stream? You're not gonna chat with your with your peeps, eh? South Padre Island, eh? All the time where I live in Texas. What is your favorite hat? Oh man, right right now this is my favorite hat. I like it. I've got. Got the cowboy hat over there. Got fishing planet hat. I've got a uh, my sovereign sportsman hat that I, I also enjoy wearing. A um, few different hats anyway, but uh, but I like this one. It's nice, comfortable, comfortable hat. Why would he shoot a chipmunk? with the bow. Did he eat it or something? Eight pound long nose gar that was four foot six. Neat. Yeah, that's cool. Favorite fish to catch in real life? Uh, somewhere between the carp and the channel cat. At least here in Kansas anyway. I, I enjoy both those fish. Ah, oh, we gotta get one more fish. Do you think we'll get lucky? One more fish before uh, before the end of the stream. Wes Welker was good. That's for sure. What is your Monday stream gonna- I don't know. 
Haven't decided yet. We'll just have to see. I'll be so distracted on Monday because this, uh, this tent I ordered should come in on Monday and I'm, I'm super excited about it. So if I, if I seem distracted on Monday, it's probably because I'm, I'm thinking that I want to, uh, sleep out in my tent overnight or something like that. <laughs> I'm so excited for it. I'm, I'm just super excited. What's my favorite game besides Fishing Planet? Oh gosh, I don't know, man. I, I play all sorts of games, so I don't have a favorite. You missed Fishing Planet, ready, steady, po. Well, it hasn't gone anywhere. It's still there, go get it. Go get it. Just got here, how's it going? It's, it's coming to an end, man. I was really hoping we'd be able to catch one more before the end of the stream. But it's not looking like it. I use my alligator gar call. <laughs> One of my dogs is barking. Oslo, shush. <laughs> Didn't work for the gar though. They don't seem to be going for it. Is the tent for a new vid? Uh, it'll probably be in some vids, yeah, for sure. Especially if we do more camping videos in the future. Almost every weekend we go fishing are very neat. Uh, only person that responds to me. Brock, well, right on. I'm glad. The Houston Cheaters? When will you stream again, John Luke? We'll uh, we'll stream on Monday. Cause um, I don't believe that Icarus is uh, is having a beta this weekend, so I don't think we'll play this weekend. But maybe next weekend. Though I'll be gone next weekend, so I guess I won't be able to play. So darn, <laughs> poor timing, I guess. Don't know about a gar. Uh, Leaf, do you, uh, you know, I actually uh, gave a setup to her. I think it was the 1500 subscriber special or something like that. I gave like a quick, uh, like, uh, run of my entire room and kind of showed off the PC and stuff like that. So, not really sure other than that. Anywho, 931, everyone. I need to get to, um, Editing the uh, Red Dead Redemption video. Otherwise, it's not going to be ready for tomorrow morning, which You know couldn't be that bad. I guess if anything, it'll just Upload on Friday morning. It'd probably be a load off my mind if I could actually do that So might not even have a video tomorrow morning <laughs> Might have to be Friday morning and along with the uh, the vlog on the MDO, which will be fun as well but uh anywho Hopefully this was fun. If you've been wondering about catching some unique flathead or uh, going after an alligator gar here at Quanchkin Lake, hopefully it was helpful in some way, and uh, hopefully it was just kind of fun altogether. But I tell you what, I've enjoyed everyone being here as always, and uh, yeah, we'll just have to see uh, on Monday. Do you have any tutorial for Weeping Willow? Other than just playing, if you're someone who learns by watching, you are gonna lo you're gonna love. Uh, all the videos we have at Fishing at Weeping Willow. Um, but yeah. Take care, everyone. We'll see you on Monday. And uh, yeah, we'll just see uh, see what else happens. See, see what videos we're able to get out in the next few days. <laughs> Anywho, take care, everyone. And as always, remember. One family, game on.